Hey y'all, it's Michael from Dallas. I've only been trying to get back in here for, since the beginning of January. I was gonna film a whip parade and then a kit parade and my phone was throwing temper tantrums. And I even went to the Verizon store and the Apple store. Oh, just, I, I really miss my kids <laughs> with things like that is I could just yell, mom needs help. <laughs> and they would run and rescue me. So I'm on my own. So I'm afraid that it's going to cut off quickly. So I, it kind of makes me want to talk really fast and film this video quickly. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm going to get cut off. So, but we're going to give it a go. It's uh, March 2nd, um, 2024. Um, and I've got a whole lot of finishes. I've been stitching as hard and fast as I could. I think after um, when the new year came, I was thinking about my whips. And I, I was thinking what I really want, what I really want is to stop spending money on floss. So, you know, it, it's all in my kits or whips. So I was thinking of like the D Dave Ramsey debt snowball. So what can I stitch quickly? What can I finish quickly to get it out in the you know what the leftover floss back into stash and also i want i want my stuff finished i um i want it framed or finished um so let me start there let me show you what i've been um what i've finished okay so well okay first of all we're still going through dad's house um you know cleaning it out and i'm going through things I may get emotional. Okay, so let me show you. I we found this. Where I found this. Um, I don't know who stitched this. Actually, I might have been me, but I don't remember it. But my sister Fran also stitched. But God grant me the serenity. Um, that's handy to keep around, because I am not serene often. <laughs> well, and, okay, and this I know. I stitch. I must have stitched this in. 87 or 88 and I know I stitched it for my little sister Nancy and it's been in this frame all these years um but look what I did I think I must have cut it to fit the frame Ooh. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I, I don't know if I'll reframe it or I thought it would be sweet to maybe um how much space do I have that's all right um, maybe just put it in a project bag or something. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to talk just because it's dated. I don't want to throw it away, <laughs> you know, and it's kind of the legacy of our stitching journey. Um, I've got some hot tea, some apple, Turkish apple tea. Ooh. Elma chai. Okay. Continue. Uh, this was something I've had this kitted up for a while. I, I mean, it started for a while. I got this done. Um, Cedar Hill Spring. Okay, and it came. It came as a kit. Um, but look right there. Okay, so what happened was. I ran out of this green right there. Whoops, let me hold it still for you. Where that 24 is. I had that left to do. <laughs> and of course I didn't have the number. And I'm not going to use gas to drive to Hobby Lobby and spend 60 cents on this color. So what I did was I just put the 24 there. I, I don't know. I was a little disappointed and I've learned, you know what I, I do when I have these kits is I, I do the big blocks of color or if I could tell that I'm about to run out, I'll go ahead and f try to finish a section and then substitute somewhere else, maybe further away so that, oh, I don't know if I'm explaining that. How about we just not run out? <sighs> Um, okay, so that's, that one's done. 
and I take my used charts and share with my floss, my stitching group. Well, some of them I do. I I don't give all of them away. Um, okay, now this, this is going to come with a story to be continued throughout the video. But I saw st um, Stitchy Witch 42 talk about um, she wants to stitch 24 bats in 2024. So I stitched my first piece and I loved this. I had a good time stitching it. After it was all said and done, I'm thinking, you know, I it. I wish I would have stitched this on um, murky or something. But you know what? It's okay. I'm happy with it, and it 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 looks kind of primitive. The fabric, it, I don't know. It might be old weeks. Uh, but I like old weeks for primitive pieces because it just I don't know. It look. I think old week looks good. So I don't know how I'm gonna finish this. But I got my first 24 bats done, and if you want to. Join her, uh, Stitchy Witch 42. Um, I found a lot of bat projects in these magazines, and this one, 2023, had the most wealth that I could find so far. There's a ton of them in here. And then I also pulled out a bunch for my stash, which I'm going to show you later in my plans. I better keep that with that plans. But anyway, I just thought that was so cute. Oh, you know what? I was going to tell you, one of the things that I love about stitching so much sometimes is where your mind goes. You know, you're almost um, meditating, I guess. And I, my, one of my very best friends, Deb, Deb Martin, she, it, she's not Deb Martin anymore, um, Deborah Boulay. Um, she, she's from New Hampshire and one October, we were up there. We went for a walk on this town. I, I bet there probably wasn't 25 people in this town. It, it's her, it's where her dad lived. Okay, so anyway, we're going for a walk and a lot of the houses, you know, they're the salt box houses. And I know that they were, they're probably 200 years old. And it was just the tiniest, sweetest little town. And I was just remembering her and we stopped and pet, pet a horse and I don't know. It, it was just really sweet to me. This this piece made me happy to do that. And I was just thinking about how much I love her and miss her. And um, anyway, I just, I love my friends. Okay, got that out of the way. But uh, now this is, whoops. This I, I don't know what I just knocked over. Okay, so I've had, this is another example of me getting rid of my, working my way through my kits, you know, it, it's, it might not even be my style anymore, but you know, there's probably $50 worth of floss in that stuff. Anyway, I, I've got all these kitted up. They are Little House Needleworks. Um, this one, I finished, I got January done and I got February done. When I saw this chart, I was like, oh my gosh, who would put that's a lot of stitching in that border, and I just flew. I, I mean, I think I got this done in a week. So I got January and February done. Got March done. These are just scraps. And I'm working on April. Um, now, I, I want to get, you know, I want to get them done. See it? All that? Let's, let's, let's do this. I'm just over it. <laughs> you know, I, I want to get my floss. I want to get these completed, fully finished. And then the floss, the kitted up floss back in my stash, because, um, you know, I know that I keep rebuying floss when I've got 50 pieces of it. I, I, you know, I was going through my stash and I bet I have like 15 different maple syrups. Why? I, I don't know. I get on my own nerves. I, <laughs> I'm i not doing that anymore. Well, okay. I'm going to try to not do that. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's done. My January and February. And these were... Did I hold it up long enough? I'm not very good at that. This isn't January and February, but it's Little House Needleworks. You can probably still get them. I don't know if you can get them with the kit, the kit but you can get the chart. But I have the whole year. I'm going to get it done. Um... 
Oh, here's one. This is what I dropped. <gasps> Jonah. So I have a son. His name's Jonah. And I, I, I had this chart for a long time. You know how you have stuff, get it up, and then you hold on to it for years for that one special day when you're going to start it? Which, which kind of annoys me, too. I'm like, just start it and get it done. Your son, I, you know, what good is it in a closet or on a shelf? Um, okay, so anyway, I had this kitted up. I started it when my daughter-in-law was in, went into labor with little Alexander. And um, that was two and a half years ago. So let's, this is what I'm talking about. Let's just, everything that, all these little uh, whips that I have that are so close to a finish. Just get it done, Michael. Anyway, it's so cute. I don't know if I'm going to do Esther and um, Noah, but I'm really grateful to have this pattern. Well, because my son, you know, is Jonah and Moses and Elijah and Noah get all the attention. Uh, don't, you know, don't, my cat's about to destroy something. Hey, um, but I'm on the hunt for Jonah stuff. If you ever see it, let me know. I've got this one. Oops, I got this one from Palm Street. Um, I got that one, and then I got this one. We'll see in me. 1993. Jonah wasn't born yet. Anyway, and I found another one recently. It's on the way to me. <laughs> but I've got, for this Palm Street, I'm also trying really hard to not start anything new. I think I have about two or three new starts since the last time you saw me. But oh, I don't want to start a whole lot of stuff. I want to keep working through my whips. But I want to start this. And I have... Um, 40 count Ren for it. And I don't mind 40 count picture this plus if I have like a hoop or something to, um, I think it'll, I love this color for that. I think it's gonna work. But oh, I think I have it kitted up too. I have the floss, most of the floss ready to go. But uh, See the dilemma we get in? Like, I don't want to start anything new, but the, I've got to get it up. Uh, okay, so here's another. Now, this isn't a bat thing, but it was a it was a whip. I mean, all I had left to do was the moon. I got the moon done. Oh, my goodness, y'all, don't look at my nails. Um, I'm probably not going to have nice hands until September when gardening season is over. In Texas, we put our gardens in. We start in February, and by by the time the rest of the country or the northern hemisphere is putting in their gardens, we're done because <laughs> it starts getting cooked. Uh, by June, your your tomatoes are done. Everything's in your yard and gardens getting cooked. Okay, so my hands, yeah. Thank you for grace. Um, I got this done. This this came from this magazine. What was this? Two thousand ten. I have finished that, and I want to do that owl, because it has bats right there, but isn't that cute? And I want to do this one. Okay, so that's done. Now the whip's done. Um, just so, oh, it just feels so good to get your stuff knocked out. Like, I just went, I'm still in the process. Uh, these are my whips right here, but I want to, I want to get to the ones that, you know, just lack about two days worth of stitching or a weekend and get it done. Um, oh, excuse me. Okay. Now this one, don't laugh. I know it's kind of cheesy and dated. I don't care. I like it because I like what it said. Kind of goes along with the serenity prayer. Um, fret not, faint not, fear not. And... Okay, so I finished this on um, New Year's Eve. And that was another thing that I was one of another goal for the new year. Um, if I have something kitted and it's small, then let's just 
either stitch it up or pass it on. Um, Cause like I said, I get on my own nerves. I'm, I'm just, I wanna get my stuff done. So this only had about five different flosses in it. And it went really fast. I think I did it in like a week and I finished it. Oh, New Year's Eve night, probably like nine or 10 o'clock at night. But you know what? It, is, it ended up staying with me. I keep thinking about it. I'll get upset and I'll be like, fret not. Oh, stop. No fretting. I always tease uh, fretting is my hobby. Um, and it's really helped me. And I also, I think I had this in DM. What did I have? Well, anyway, I ended up going to Sul Sulky. And it was just five colors. And I kind of just did my own thing. What was it? Why did I go to Sulky? I think it was... It's supposed to be 32 and I when I you know when you're using 32 and doing two over two I don't I railroad and that just slows me down and I I get moody and irritable <laughs> so I got I like sulky because you can go faster when um I have 32 okay so that's done now this one I was excited about this one probably took me five or six weeks to finish well, I was, I mean, you've, I just been a whip forever. And I'm so happy to get it done. I think, I know I worked on this. When did I finish it? Well, I have it in my book of days. Okay, anyway, I finished. And I did run out of some floss and I, I think I ended up, cause it comes as a, as a kit. I probably ended up substituting. Um. Anyway, I'm so happy it's done and I really want to uh, wash it because it's DMC, you know, I'm old school where we used to wash our um, DMC, but now I'm so afraid I don't want to do that anymore, but I don't like that wrinkle. That's something that I'm rethinking. I really am not liking my project bag wrinkles because uh, sometimes you can't iron them out. I don't, I don't know, but anyway, I'm glad that that's finished in a suite older woman in my stitching group wanted to chart so I'm gonna give that to I'm gonna pass that on to her you know they're some of the they're on fixed incomes I, I should be on one <laughs> okay but anyway you know just it it's sweet to bless the older people with charts um this I finished Ooh, I love this Screw Jim Marley. I got this off, um, I, I'm sure Itsy. The Stitcher Hood. Oh, I wish I had it, the big piece of it cut out. Or no, the big piece of it still. I don't know what I bought. I know I got it from Kitten Stitcher and it is a big, ugly piece of fabric and it's just delicious. And um, I, I, I loved it, but I also didn't know what I was going to put on it. Because... Uh, anyway, so this worked out. This is also sulky. Because I, I had trouble getting black, a bold enough black to pop on this. So this is sulky. And I was thinking what I would do maybe, I think what I'm going to do is maybe kind of flat finish it. And then I'm going to use like an antique hanger and hang it. I think I'm, I, th I, no, I, I think that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, and then for finished, you know, I have a lot of stuff that's completed and not framed. And I'm just over it. Like, I want to get my, I'm getting my stuff framed. I'm trying to not spend as much. Um, I'm trying. Anyway, because I want my budget to go to finishing stuff. So this is just so old. It came from a magazine. And I cannot find it. I I know I still have it, and I know I probably set it aside to take to my stitchy group. But since I quilt, I, I kind of like when uh, there's something in the design looks fabric-ish. <laughs> and I just thought that was kind of cute, and I got it framed at Hobby Lobby. I, I've been taking my stuff to a, a small business in Kerrville, and I really like them. They're fine, but you know, I'm not always in Kerrville. I am in Dallas. So I gave Hobby Lobby a shot and I wasn't disappointed. I mean, they'll do in a pinch and it's cute and it's done. It's completed. 
I got that. Um, so I got that. Now let me, I want to show you what I've been working on. I've been, I've been working hard. I, uh, trying to get a lot done. Well, one of the things, um, on Andrea Pugs and Stitches, I love her to pieces. Um, we talk a lot about bucket list pieces and, um, you know, if we've only, well, this is depressing. If we've only got so much time left, what do we want done for our families or our wall? What do I want to enjoy now? Uh, well, I still have some eyesight. What can I complete now while I still have what's left in my eye? And my eyes are terrible. I can barely see. These are brand new glasses. I got bifocals. I can see you barely. Oh, so anyway, we talk a lot about that, a bucket list pieces. So she and I have actually been kind of, you know, um, what the heck? Let's just start it. We, we've had it kitted up forever. Let's just do, let's just start it. And, um. Okay, I'll show you. But I did, let me just show you what I've been working on. I know she's got further than I do. Uh, she's she's about, where is she? I'm trying to remember. I think she might be here. Um, I haven't seen it in a while. Where is she? Okay, I, it's on my Instagram, Sweet Woodruffs. I think I took a picture and posted it on there. Which, by the way, I love Instagram. I am on there several times a day. And I never post. And I feel bad about that. And I always want to communicate with you and share with you. And I just, I get busy with work. I kind of have a stressful job. I, I don't know. Whatever. Um, and they said, so this is something we both love. She's a lot further than me. But, and that's okay. But I got started. Oh, I, I don't want to show you the pattern. I need a bag, you know, I need to get a bag. This one is so long. I need a bag that um, that's long enough. But I did, I've got, a, I've got some progress and you know, it doesn't go terribly slow. If you have this, get it up, just start it. Because it, it's actually going faster. You know, they put, when you look at the chart, you're overwhelmed and you're like, oh my gosh. But once you start, it goes pretty quickly. Uh. Okay, sorry, that was my daughter. Uh, see, I got the, I got an angel. I think I've got the crown. Anyway, it's go, I. It's going fairly quickly, and of course, where, what am I stitching it on? I know I got it at Tinsmith's wife. Now I'm annoyed. That's one thing I've been really good about. I've been super good with my book of days, um, writing, writing it down because I will say I will remember and I don't, but look, I am not sticker happy. <laughs> Y'all, if I'm going to spend money, I'm spending it on my frames right now. I'm not going to buy stickers, but you know what? I really want some Hello Kitty stickers. Hello Kitty is 50 this year. Can you believe that? Okay. Also, I have really bad ADD, and I jump around pretty badly, so I'm sorry about that. I don't know how I went from Ann Basin to Tim Smith's wife, uh, um, Hello Kitty. But anyway, I did get the fabric there. They have a pretty good fabric stash. If you're looking for something, give them a call. I'm, I know she'll ship to you. Um, so, okay, I've been working on that. And um, this one I'm super excited about. <gasps> Okay, so I don't count this as a new start. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh at my cross stitch math. But I, I started this. I started Mary Bailey, and I was, I started it on the, the fabric that the kit came in. Hello, where are we? Um, and I wasn't super happy with it. It wasn't horrible, but I wasn't happy. And then Andrea. Who's very bad for me, by the way. She, like, makes me buy, spend money. Uh, she showed me a piece of Cosmic Plant Platinum from Dames of the Needle. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I hope to have that. So I bought some, and it came, in the, it came, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I love it. It's the most favorite fabric I've ever seen in my life. And I thought, you know what? That would, Mary Bailey will look good on that. So I ordered, I think, a yard of it. That's pretty much my 
budget for the year. I ordered a yarn. Let me stand up so you can see how pretty it is. Mm, I hope it's coming. Anyway, it's just really pretty. And I'm not counting this as a new start because I've already started it once, right? <laughs> so it's not a new start. It's, this, it's the same width, just different fabric. But look what I did. I got the border in and I got it to match. And that was a marathon. I think I did it in nine hours. Oh my goodness, but I'm so excited. I got the border in and it matches. And um, I'm just ready to roll. I Like I said, I, the bucket list pieces, I that's what... I really want to focus on that. Well, as much as possible. I want to focus on getting the, the whips out and then the bucket list pieces. But yeah, this is Dames of the Needle Cosmic Platinum. I think it, and it's 40 count. That's another thing that I love about this a lot better than the other uh, fabric is 40 count. And I can just go faster. Um, you just reach out to Dames of the Needle and she'll dye you a piece of fabric. Yeah, I'm not going to make a habit of that, but... I mean, when you love something wonderful, I mean, and you know, fa our fabric is an investment. <laughs> it's not like it's going to get wasted. Um, I, you know, I will use my fabric. Okay, so that, I got that done. And I'm, I want to keep working on that. I'm going to see Andrea tomorrow. I might take this and keep working on that with her. Okay, and then now another, I wouldn't say, yeah, it was a bucket list piece. Okay, so I, and it's so funny to me because I'm not a super yellowy, warm color person. I mean, I don't, I'm happy, whatever. I, I like color, but if I'm going to pick something, it's probably not going to be yellow. Uh, but I love this, and my mom's favorite color is yellow. So I thought, oh, I, I'll stitch this for my mom. And, you know, mom is not, let's see, we're 20, 21 years apart. I think mom just turned 76. If I'm 55, anyway, she's not going to be around forever either. And Emily from um, Eclectic Possessions, she was had, was talking about it too. She was stitching something for her mom, and she said the same thing. And I think our moms are the same age. So, you know, our moms are not going to be forever. So I want to get this done. It's a bucket list piece. And what, and what I was thinking was, Oh, and the other thing too, I was thinking, um, I, I think I started this in October at dad's house. We were down in Ingram for the eclipse. And I think, I don't know if I started it then, but I did work on it. You know, the eclipse is passing over and I'm listening to the radio and putting in stitches. And so I was thinking, you know what, what wouldn't it be cool if I could, um, get this finished by the next eclipse in April the 8th. I don't know if I, I don't know. That's, that's ambitious. Maybe I can. April the 8th. I don't, let me pull back a little bit. So this is on 40 count grandma's slip. Exude. Uh, and I saw, I have, I have seen Sarah pod in, uh, at, kitten stitcher okay so back to the story I was thinking if I work on this every day make it my morning stitch and put in because I could do half a flower in a morning and I could do a whole flower if I'm not working <laughs> or maybe if I'm sitting in a meeting or something I I don't know I was just I had a goal I was thinking you know maybe if I just got okay so then what I did was, you know what, let's just go ahead and get all the green in so that I can do the morning yellow stitch. And I'm almost there. Whoops, I'm gonna do this. Okay, you can see on the bottom, I'm getting closer. Um, yeah, I'm almost done, but maybe I'll work on that this weekend because uh, I'm gonna get that the bottom and then I'm, I'm ready for the morning stitch. I, I wanna get all the green in and then get those flowers done. Oh my goodness, I I think that would be really cool to finish this by the eclipse and then it can be 
kind of the eclipse seas and peace in my memories. Um, oh, and you know what? I do. This was my first time. Is it my first time stitching with Gloriana? I don't know. But yeah, Gloriana on 40 count X Jude is divine. I think it's my most. I think it's probably one of my most favorite stitches just because it just is beautiful, luscious, easy to stitch with. And it, it just needle, thread, joy, the silk. I don't know. Something about Gloriana and X Jude 40 count. They just belong together. Okay, I got I worked on that. And this is this is my forever hilarious project because I was like, yeah, I like Mirabilia and Nora, sure, but I don't really like pretty ladies. Well, once you start stitching and you hang out with stitchers, you kind of get converted. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll just I'll just try one. Sure. Now I can't wait to start more, but I, I'm not starting anymore until I get this done. Cause uh I'll show you where I'm at. I'm working up. And what's, what's helped is in our city group, we have, um, we meet on the third Saturday of every month. Uh, it's East Dallas, whatever, a Dallas stitch group. But any people from Fort Worth can, people from Shreveport can. Okay, so we've, we have these, um, oh, what's the word? Words. We're challenges. We get monthly challenges, and the uh, January's monthly challenge was to stitch on something with beads. So, beads. And then this month, February, was stitch on something with a face. Face. Okay, so I really am enjoying this, but I have to tell you, it's a different relationship. You know, like with the Seropod, I'm just, it's just lusciousness, and I think I like that friend because she's luscious. I think I like this friend because she's a challenge. You know how just some friends challenge us and stretch us beyond our comfort zone. I, I, I think that I'm enjoying her for that reason. And also too, I think the colors are just bring a lot of joy. Mir Mirabilia and Nora, Nora's color palette brings us a lot of joy. But yeah, uh, this is a lot of confetti, and I do not like confetti. I mean, I will stitch one over one all day long and not be miserable. S stick me in my confetti chart, and I'm crying. But I'm still happy, and I'm really enjoying it. We're all right. We're getting along. And uh, making progress, but yeah, it's it's slow. I, I bet I probably got maybe 700 stitches lately on her and it's not fast but the color palette's well pretty it looks like spring I don't like it when my floss gets smashed like that okay so yeah that's what I've got done on that I I guess I'm sure this is still available I can't remember where I've seen it last I I I know I've seen it um and it's, I guess it's not one of the um, unexpired patterns. What do you call it? Discontinued? Out of print. Yeah. Okay, I've got progress on that. Let's see what else. Um, now, okay, let me show you. I've got, this was another whip where I was annoyed. And I'm like, you know what? Stitch it. Quit being a baby and just get it done. I pulled it out and I got it done in a day, like probably six hours. I finished January and started February. February was going fast. I think what happened was I got kind of a little disappointed with the colors and I put it away. I got with the colors of January, but I put it away. And then when I pulled it back out, I was like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Isn't that funny how our minds change? Like I, I'm just so happy with it. I got February done and I think I was able to get one, two, three, four, 
three. I got three Januaries in here. My mom and I got Chris, my brother-in-law, Chris Schmidt. He, he, he's just a best friend. We, I love my brother-in-law. He's uh, my sister and my brother. Well, all my sisters and my brothers-in-law, we're all very close. And, um, and then I got daddy in here. He was born, I'm gonna get the year wrong. I think it was 35 or 36. No, I feel like it's dad gummit. Okay, so he was born January 1st, just like one minute after midnight, 1935. And I think he was one of the first babies born that year. And now I'm just kicking myself, was it 35 or 36? Um, anyway, so I started February and it was going pretty fast. I wanna, I wanna keep my momentum going on this because that's another thing that we have kitted up and I want the floss, you know, I, I just, I'm just over it. <laughs> I guess I'm over spending the money and then over not having my project, you know, my bucket list projects done. I, you know, there's stuff that I, I really want. It brings me a lot of joy and I don't know. It, and it's funny how we get burned out and overwhelmed, but then when you, and so we put it away and then when we pull it back out, it didn't take any time at all. Kind of like procrastinating, you know, when you put something off and then you take care of it, it took you six minutes. And you just tortured yourself for six months. <laughs> you know, just do it. Just get it done. Um, now, this was it. Okay, let me let me finish this. Let me, yeah, yeah. Let me go, go this way. Well, she needs a project bag. Um, I started this Christmas day. This was another uh, project that has like <laughs> $50,000 worth of floss. You know? Plus, I love it. Why wouldn't I want to finish it? Anyway, I started this Christmas Day. And you know what? It was going really fast. And I think I'm doing it on um, 32, you know, which I, I'm going to whine about because I have to railroad. But you know what? It's going fast and it looks good. I mean... That's pretty fast stitching. That's about two days worth of stitching right there, I think. And you know, that house is a beast. But you know, when you just buckle down, I love that roof. You know, I would like a roof like that. Can somebody, we just got in your roof. Um, I think that would be a cool business idea. Uh, install roofs for quilters and anyway I just love her and I hopefully maybe I can get this done I but that's the thing if I start anything I'm getting it done I'm not putting it on the shelf for a couple years and um the colors are just so rich and jewel jewel tones you know it reminds me of like fruit cake bread which you know maybe not everybody likes to eat but it is pretty to look at <laughs> Anyway, let's get that done. So I was proud about, I was excited about that. That Christmas Day start. And I actually made some prog progress. This is a weird start. I swear I did not order this from 123Stitch. And I checked my receipt and it's like, well, it said I did. Okay. I, I just don't believe them. <laughs> I mean, maybe I did. I don't know, whatever. It, but it wasn't, it's not like I'm unhappy. I'm happy to have the chart, but I swear I, but you know, I don't know. A lot of things show up at the door that I don't remember buying. You know, I take a sleeping pill, I take a Lunesta on hard nights and then things show up. That's dangerous. I need to block myself <laughs> on certain sites so that I can't shop after Lunesta. Oh, I'll lose that pen. Okay, so it's one, two, three stitch, then I ordered it. So I was like, you know what, Dagamma, we're gonna start this. And I know this is lakes. Oh, and it's just going so fast. It's 40 count lakeside. Um oh no. Boarding pass. Well, I've got the boarding pass, but I don't know what I started it on. It's Lakeside. 
something gray silver well it doesn't matter let it go <sighs> ah! flagstone <laughs> all right flagstone yeah I started it. I kind of started it out of spite. I'm like, well, you said I bought it, so I'll, okay, I'm I'm started then. <laughs> it was super impulsive because I, you know, I've got my plans and I'm not I'm not really gonna stray, and I also don't want a whole lot of new starts. So, but um, I'm glad I did. It's really sweet and pretty, and it's almost wintry, isn't it? Kind of that flagstone and the neutral palette and um, bell swath. And um, more Gloriana. Yeah. Wow, I, I love Belsoi too. And I do love Gloriana. Anyway, new start. 40 count flagstone. Um, one, two, three stitch says I ordered Peace and Goodwill Sampler. So we're gonna start it. I really, I hope it somebody else didn't order it and then didn't get their order. But you know what? Maybe I did order it. I don't know. Whatever. But I'm not unhappy. So, moving forward. Okay, this is funny. This was another, like, I, I'm sticking with my plan. But this was, I was, on, I had stuff on the floor. And I was sorting through th things and, um. I stuff on the floor and I looked at this and I'm like, you know what? Why have you not started this? And this is exactly what I see. I kind of mean mom myself. I, I say mean things to myself, but I was like, this is exactly what I was talking about. Michael, <laughs> get stitch it or get it, you know, pass it on. Um, so I, I was like, you know, okay. I picked it up and I went to the bedroom and I went to bed for the night and watched Doc Martin and started this. Well, aren't the colors so pretty? Lucy Beam. Marianne Fleming, 1841. But you know, I, I love these. Um, oh my goodness, samplers. Mar are they marking? Marking samplers? Whoops! I love them. And I can't resist them. I buy them. I get them up. And they sit. And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to. And marking samplers go fairly quickly. So I got the. I got it in. This is Be Stitch Me. Sand. Sand Dune. I think Be Stitch Me. Well, it says right. It says. Yeah, Sand Dune. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, 40 count, but it's really, oh, are the colors going to show? It's just so fresh and happy. It's very springy, spring, spring colored. Um, but yeah, I love, I love these uh, marking, but hopefully um, they won't go won't take too long. This is one thing that I'm really not liking. I, I love to stitch in hand, but I will use a hoop, but I don't like the marks, the hoop sleeve. This I can press out. It's DMC, but anyway, I was just excited. It's always exciting when the borders meet. I just feel like I won something, you know, my borders meet and, um, I find that doing putting in the border first is good. I like it. It is helpful. It's a good idea. But one of the things it does kind of for me is to kind of trigger that OCD, like repetitive counting, like one, two, three, four, five, you know, one, two, three. And I will recount, 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 count, 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 recount. And it's almost exhausting. But once you can get through that, that work, You'll feel better. Your border's in. And I really like how when the border's in, say if I got if I got tired of this line, when my border's in, I can go work on the number, the letters. I, I, I kind of like how you can jump around that way. Um, now, 
see what her starts. I started this. Well, I have been wanting to do this forever because I don't have anything February that's not valid. Ooh, crinkle. Sorry. Shoot. Let me just show you. Oh, quietly. I started this. I went to Florida, kind of a vacation to see my son, and they have a new baby, Ellie. So I just, I took some projects to sit there and stitch, and I got started on it. And this is also um, a Stitch Me. Oh, gosh. But I love it. I think it was like the January color. And I thought, you know what? I, I like the gray. It's kind of a green gray. I Just a second. I, I think I want to say it was Valor. Oh, Into the Veil. And I thought, you know what? It kind of looks like money. But it also looks like January, January sky. But I thought, you know what? It kind of looks like money or just old dollar bills. And I thought that'll be cool to do these on, you know, do this chart. So I got started on that, but um, I think this is 40 count. And that one over one up in the corner of um, Groundhog, it's it's full full coverage, little corner there. But it was going pretty fast. Anyway, I don't want any my, any anything that I start, I really don't want it to get too far away from me. I want to keep pushing through and get them done. Um, Uh, I don't want any new starts to get too far for me. I, I, I might not want to keep working on February too much longer, but I'm also okay with working. I don't have to stick to a season. Like I can, I can do what I want. Right. Um, and I did start this because, um, this is funny. Andrea, Andrea, um, pugs and stitches. She, somebody was selling on, um, stash unload her finished pieces I don't know who it was but anyway Andrea bought this she had it kitted up and then she bought this finished from one of her friends and uh, so she had it kitted up didn't need it anymore because she got it pre-stitched from a friend and so she gave me the kit and I started it because I had to what was that? It was stitching day a few weeks ago, and I haven't worked on it since, but it was it was going fairly quickly. The little flower. And I love birds, especially, I mean, that's not a red wing blackbird. I might change that wing there to be, uh oh. It's, it's black and white, but I might make it um, black and red. I don't know if I've told you this story, um, my kids and I have, or I have, a red wing black word, black bird, red wing black bird thing. And it all started when we were living in Lake Kiowa, up there by Gainesville, Texas. And you have to cross this one, one car bridge to get to one side of the lake. So every, the kids were small. And every time we would come up to the bridge, this red wing blackbird would, you could see him, he's coming from the trees and he'd, he'd see us, he'd come and he would sit there. We would cross, go to town, do our own thing, come back. And here he comes again from the woods. But you know, lands there. And this happened all the time. I mean, it just, it seemed like years. And maybe I'm just making stuff up, but I mean, it wasn't a one or two, twice, you know, two time thing. It, I mean, it happened all the time. And, um, and so I always like, it's like my spirit animal. I don't know. It was just, it was just so sweet. Like a red wing blackbird would just come say hello to a random housewife with two little kids. Why? It, it was just weird to me, but you know, a beautiful weird. So when she gave me this, I was happy to have it. And I know that there's some other charts that have the red wing blackbird in them. I, I think Carriage House or Kathy Barrett has some. Um, okay, so that's what I've been working on. Let's see. Um, 
I want to shout out, oops, my feet are cold, y'all. We had a little bit of summer last week and then it got chilly again. And we have an um, older house, it's pier and beam. So the floors get cold. Um, okay, so hopefully spring's coming. I, I think so. It's beautiful outside today. But let me, I, I made a list of people I want to kind of shout out and recommend or, um, Kathy at so-and-so's, go check her out. Um, Christy at Daisy K Primitives, she has a new video out. I mean, I guess it's about a week old. Anyway, I love her. She's, she, I love everything she stitches. She stitches, you know, that primitive, um, stuff. And she also, we also started Mary Bigley together a few years ago and I promptly flaked on her and I feel bad, but I'm back in the game. I, I don't, did I tell you, I think in the first video, Mary Bailey is my mo uh, husband's mother. So I kind of, I have like, I think I have three different charts with Mary Bailey on them. So that's one reason why Mary Bailey is on my a bucket, a three bucket list, Mary Bailey's. Uh, but that was, that was my husband's mother. So, okay. Um, I was, I really enjoyed made by Michelle McGraw. Uh, she has a video called her basket of shame more like, and I, I posted, I commented, I said, that's a basket of pride and joy. Um, she's got so many fin uh, finishes that need to be fully finished, but I just, Michelle inspires me. Um, wow. I want to be more like her because I don't stitch smalls. I, I just go big or go home. I got to start all the big stuff. And I'm trying really hard to stitch more smalls or, or I have a lot of smalls kitted up too. I, I want to get, like I said, I'm going to, I want to get those small things out because, um, you know, but anyway, she inspires me go look, go watch her video. Um, her basket of pride. Um, I really enjoy, I'm a stitch nerd. I think her name's Laurel. I, one of my favorite things about uh, floss tube is, Everybody's from somewhere else, and we all have accents. And um, Laurel has such a, a thick southern accent. I really just enjoy listening to her. I don't know where she is. Is she in Mississippi or Alabama? Anyway, she stitches. I, I, I really kind of like, I enjoy the eclectic stitchers, the ones who kind of stitch everything. Because um, I'm not necessarily going to stitch that, but I enjoy, or maybe I will, eventually, but I enjoy watching uh, videos that are eclectic with people who stitch a lot of different things. Um, go watch, go watch her, um, and follow. Um, Carol, I think her name's Caroline's, Caroline's Stitch, or it's not Carolyn, I think it's Caroline. Uh, she's Europe. I, I want to say she's Dutch or French, her English, she might be German, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. Her accent is more. Well, anyway, you go find her. Go Carol, Carolyn's Caroline's stitch. I, I like what she does. And then um, Katie, the novel stitcher. Um, we have the same birthday, September 11th. I was so excited to meet somebody who has my birthday. We're gonna have to have a birthday stitch. Katie, go follow her. She she stitches. Um, a lot, of, a lot of stuff that I like, but then at the end of her videos, she talks about books that she's reading. Um, <clears throat> the Nightly Stitcher. How can you not love her? She hit 5,000. I'm so excited for her. I love watching people, you know, if, if you're my, one of my favorites, or just, you don't have to be a favorite. I, I love everybody. Uh, but I love watching their numbers go up, because it, it's just exciting to see your friends be awesome. And achieve goals. I, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a goal to reach 5,000. I don't know. But, you know, it's just exciting when you're when you're our age and someone cares about what you have to say. <laughs> it's just exciting. Um, Emily, the uh, eclectic possessions, she's reached 10,000. Now, I just love Emily. I don't think I'm old enough to be her mom, but I am old enough to be her big sister. I think I have sisters her age. Anyway, I, I really love... <clears throat> Emily's got a really good eye um, for fabric and then floss, and then she's got good taste. I love how she does two over two on 36. It just makes the stitches look, I don't know. 
plump. But I, I don't have the, I, I will do that, but I just don't have the patience for that. And I really have a lot of respect for hers. I mean, and you can zoom in on her stitches and you won't find a bad stitch. How do you do that? Like you, please do not ever zoom in on my stitches. Oh, um, but yeah, Emily hit 10,000. I'm super excited for her. Um, I recently have been watching, I haven't finished, been watching all of hers, but I like Tattooed Stitcher. She's got some cool stuff. Uh, and she's just, just a really fresh personality, just really happy and radi she radiates. Um, go watch her if you haven't. And, um, Karen Combs Studio. Now she's a class act. Oh, I love her. I, I feel like I can watch her and learn something from her and I'm not bored, you know. I she's just a really interesting kind of teacher, but she's very engaging and I like her personality. She's just a lovely person. And it was someone that I found was it last last weekend? What's her name? CCL Stitches. I can't think of her name. CCL Stitches. She's in Philadelphia. I don't know if she's new to stitching, but semi-new. And what I love about her, I mean, she's probably been doing it a few years, but what I love about her is when a younger stitcher kind of discovers cross-stitching. And it's just the joy, okay, not that she's a child, but it's the joy of of a child at Christmas and opening their presents and they're just really excited about all this stuff and they never knew this world was out there and let's stitch all the things, you know, and she's just a, got a great personality, very friendly and jovial and would you say amiable in a Jane Austen way? She's just a, anyway, I've really, she stitches a lot of unique, um, eclectic things too she's just a dynamic person uh i really enjoyed i think she has three videos out I, I like her and she does a lot of retro kind of stuff and she dresses retro i thought well in her third video she did she's just cute she's darling go watch her um and then also i want to shout out my two besties well i have more than two but um pugs and stitches andrea um She's on Instagram. She didn't have a floss tube. But she's amazing and wonderful. Brilliant. Oh, so generous. I just, I don't know. You know when you're a kid and you have a neighborhood friend and you just want to get all your chores done so that you can go outside and play with your friend? Um, but I was the oldest child, so I could never go outside. I had to stay in and do chores with mom. I'm just joking. Um, I don't know. I feel that way about Andrea. Like, I can't wait to see her every time like she's just like I got all my work done can I come over um she's just cool I, I love her and she she's to everything she stitches is just phenomenal she's on Instagram go follow her pugs and stitches uh, and then go follow spunky Jen on Instagram I don't think she has a new floss tube out yet uh she might she'll probably do that in time but she's been she hasn't been super active in stitching recently. You know, sometimes we all just need a break and I think she got a new job. And anyway, she's back to stitching again and she's just a gorgeous human being. Go follow her, Spunky Jen. Okay, um, let me go. I, I wanna, ooh, I'm at 58. So I, I cannot, I'm so happy my phone didn't die. So let me fly through um, purchases. Um, this is a, over several months, too. Um, I'm trying so hard to not buy. Yeah. So I got this at Tinsmith's Wife. What would Dolly do? It's got rose petals, straw hat. Super cute. I thought, I thought um, Dolly just gave... I bought this before the recent Dolly news um something happened at a country music award or something and a poor girl was having a really bad night and um you know there before the grace of god go i so we can't judge anyway anyone and um dolly was so gracious and whatever forgave her moved on so let's all let's what would dolly do let's let's just assume the best and love everyone um 
So recently, the last couple of um, stitching things that I've gone to, stitching events, there's like D-stash going on. Uh, and I got this, just a little kit. Um, I think it's Chessie and me. Oh, paper, crinkly, sorry. Anyway, I was all kitted up. Um, I think it's Chessie and me, and it's just a small, I'm gonna, see this is what I'm talking about. If I, I wanna get, I got so many cute smalls. That feels like Belsois too. That's uh, an acquisition and, um, hold on, let me get some tea. I got this. I didn't have this. I don't think I have this. But I, Chelsea and me, have they ever put out an ugly pattern or ugly chart? I mean, I, I, I want to do that one day. Just spend a whole year working on my favorites, like all Chessie and me. And then the next year, all oh, Blackbird. And, um, you know, there's just not enough time. And I love that, the, the ship. And I love these long flags. Okay, I got that. Now, thank you very much, Andrea. She gave me this. She gave me this. I'm gonna have to kick this up and get it started along with the other, you know, the other 50 baps I've got going. But I wanna stitch, I wanna stitch Francis, a lot of Francis's, cause they're, uh, if it's Francis, there was another name, Sarah, my middle name's Sarah. So I like Sarah's and I like Francis's. My grandma was Francis and uh, my sister Fran is a Francis. She's one of the greatest people I've ever known in my life. I love my sister. Anyway, how, how can you just not love this? And Andrea had it started. I think she's right about here. And she was getting, you know how when you get, I guess a little burned out or tired and you set a project aside, she brought it to um, Stitch Group. And I said, well, let me put a few stitches in it. So I kept it for a month and put, I didn't get as far as I wanted because I have to work, you know, I have a job. But I got some other tree. I don't know, I think I got, anyway. Sometimes just putting some new energy or new juju over a project can just bring some new life to it. But, you know, I don't know. And this, I didn't even, I don't, I didn't own this. So I was happy to get this. Yeah, bat number 310. And I got this. I love Tree of Life samplings. They have... I really, really like the old stuff. That's one reason why I don't want to just keep starting things that come out. I'm full of it. Don't even, I'm a liar. Don't listen to me. But there's just so much older stuff that we have in our stash that we haven't stitched. So I want to try to be mindful of that. You know, things that I'm acquiring. Um, there's things I, I want to stitch. Okay, so I have two little kind of antique -y things. This is super cool. Uh, I think it must have come from a hair salon. We used to call them beauty shops, beauty parlors. So I guess it probably had, it was probably sale, something sale. They were selling something and I would guess maybe like, I don't know, scarves or turbans or something. She's cool, my hanger up, and I put floss on her. I don't know how I'm gonna hang that up, actually. Hm. Well, now that I'm here, I don't know. It's cute. Uh, and this, I love vintage linens. I have a huge stash. I don't need to buy any more. But it's hard to pass up because Eventually, this stuff is going to stop, remove itself from circulation. You're not, you know, it's going to get harder to find. And I also liked it because, well, it was Asian and it's cross stitch. You know, a lot of this stuff is embroidery, but that one was cross stitch. And um, it's just a tablecloth. So, and it's actually in pretty good condition. What I like to do is, you know, use them as tablecloths for a while. 
And then when I, when the spirit moves, I'll cut it and put it in a quilt or I think it'd be cute project bags, but I just, I, it takes a lot for me to cut it. It's going to have to be ruined and damaged before I'll cut into it. But also too, I need to not be hoarding that kind of stuff because I don't want my kids to have a lot of stuff to go through <laughs> in 40 years. I'm get you know, I'm going to speak life. But yeah, I don't want my kids, I, I've got too much. A lot of fabric, a lot of charts, a lot of vintage linen. Okay, so back to me telling you I'm not buying anything else. I had to buy this kit. I, I, I know I saw this. Somebody was doing this. Do you know who was doing this? And I didn't need to buy the kit. I didn't need it, but I did. And that's it. I'm not buying anymore. Uh, sampler's not forgotten. Uh, Anne Wright, 1726. I really like the older samplers too. I really, I, my goal is to just keep working through samplers and whips, but I, I love history. So, and so does my son. So I want to get a lot of samplers from different um, time, times, different times. Am I saying that right? Different periods. And I got this because I didn't need it. I got this from, um, oh, what, where? Come Country Sampler. Yeah. I got to stay away from there. Because you know what? If something's kitted up, I'm going to buy it. And I tell you why. It really relieves anxiety for me. I, I, I will, I, 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 we all love kitting up a project, but I will overthink and make myself just sick. Oh. And um, I really love kits because I don't have to think about it. It's done. Let's start it. So, yeah. Um, oh, boy, I talk too much. I, we're at a minute seven. Uh, oopsie daisy. Oh, see, I'm trying to collect the scarlet letters, the ones, the bucket list pieces. <laughs> I got um, this. I've I wanted this for a long time. The colors are just really pink, aqua. I love that. Oh, and also I think I wrote, another reason why I wanted this was I think it's New Hampshire. Yeah, it's in New Hampshire. You know, and I love my friend Deb. But that's another thing is I want to stitch different states, you know, like Rhode Island and New Hampshire. Oh, and I wanted to show you, I, I thought that I had more. Okay. This is a bag. I know I have about eight of them now. I can't stop buying her bags. Melanie Henson. She sh sells her bags on that stash unload. They are super well made. They're very, they're quilty and they're super cushiony, like squishy, but they're really sharp and they're pretty. And I know I got this from her, but also she's local. She's in Roy City, not far from me. So if you see her posting um, her bags on stash unload get one and they come like i i might buy it on a saturday and it's at my house by thursday so it was really cute nice nice person beautiful bags customer service um i'm losing oh yeah here was it last week we went to our stitching okay so in um arlington texas at the stitch niche <clears throat> Uh, the last Sunday of every month, we have a sampler club, um, and you, you're welcome to come join us. Uh, we kind of just get there at 12, shop a little bit, and then we stitch samplers that afternoon. And then also, too, we'll, we might have um, 
a sampler lesson. I don't know. Or just a talk. Um, so anyway, sometimes they have um, store models for sale. And I got this. It's cute. I, I really love buying the models because now I don't have to stitch it. I can mark that off my list, but I love it. The pink will fade, the, tul the tulip wither, but a virtuous mime will bloom forever. I would hope so. And the other thing that I got, okay, so I, I've been seeing, I, I like to stitch in hand and I love my grandma's hoop. My favorite hoop. But I've been seeing people use these and sometimes I need a big, and I wanted to give them a try. Do they leave the wrinkles the way, I don't know, we're gonna try, so I bought that. I don't like that ring especially when I'm using over dyed floss because what if I need moisture steam or something to get the wrinkle out and I ooh I'm not doing that I, I'm just afraid I'm uh, here I, you know overthinking um let me let me show you share with you some plans real quick cuz um I had this organized we'll see I don't know. I I did get out. I'm so moody and I'm weary. I don't want a bunch of new starts. But then I'm thinking, but what if I got into it? What if I got over the whole February stitch or the stitching on bats? I thought maybe I might be in an Easter mood. So I pulled this out and I love We, I, you know, that's what I'm saying. We all have these adorable older charts that we have never been stitched. And I bet that's probably pretty quick. I might do that. I might start that. And then this one. Well, there's a small little spring right there. But if you're going to stitch spring, why not just stitch all of them? Anyway, I love Bright Needle. And this... I've never, this has not been stitched. Um, Snowflower Diaries. Was this a free pattern? I've been, it's been a while since I've been there and I can't remember. Anyway, it's cute. That would probably be pretty quick, huh? And this is another Snowflower. I like the variegation in those, the tulips there. she did that. Is that different colors or is that one floss yeah that's one floss it's Nina's threads I don't where do you buy Nina's threads okay anyway it's variegated and that I just think that's really pretty um but that we you know we just have a, a hundreds of cute pretties we've never stitched I'm just over it like I want to get stuff done I'm just very motivated um, I, I've never stitched, I really, one of my favorite flowers are pansies, because in the winter, they do well here in Texas, but, and they're just a pop of color, and I think they're cheeky. <laughs> pansies have, like, their little personality, you know, they're kind of giving you the stink eye, but they're also smiling, I don't know. I just think I just think they have a personality. You know, not not all flowers have personalities, but pansies do. Uh, anyway, I like the pansies, but also reason why I got it out. I I even pulled out some. I think it would fit on this. Is I want to do this little chicken on that egg. No, it looks like a bird. Ugh. Just like a little wren or something. Can you see? I wanted to do that. I might start it. Oh, and I haven't decided if I'm going to start this or not, but I have been looking around for dragon patterns for the Year of the Dragon, and I just couldn't decide, and I really should be smart and just find something small. But I haven't found anything small that I 
wanted to do but you know maybe I'll keep looking but <laughs> I was digging through stuff and I found this and I'm like oh my gosh I've been wanting to stitch this forever it's a dragon with a book and well I guess fireflies and a night you know oh my gosh how can you not stitch that it looks full coverage though mm. maybe yeah maybe I would stitch it on a piece of um dark blue or something because oh, I really need anything full coverage. Okay, so all right, let me show you another plan that I have. <laughs> this is way on down the road, but I want you to laugh at me because this, uh, you know, my overthinking, I kind of end up laughing at myself. So, and this is another thing, like this is, these are kitted up. Like, you know, this is more floss that I want I want these things to get used up. Okay, they're kitted up, but they're cute little. <laughs> Strong and beautiful. Oh, I've, I've done here. Um, gentle and kind. Joyful and caring. Look, they're kitted. Come on. That would not take two days. Okay. Soft and sweet. Okay. The hilarious thing is, when I found these, I was like, oh, those are all, that's cute. I'll just put all my sisters on there. I'll do one for each sister or something. And then I started panicking because I'm like, well, which one is the strong and beautiful? Which one is the gentle and kind? Which one is the joyful and caring? Which one is the soft and sweet? And then I thought, oh my gosh, this is, this is a problem. I can't say one sister's soft and sweet and the other gentle and kind because they're going to fight. They're going to be like, well, why am I not joy, you know, joyful? Why am I not strong and beautiful? So I cut, you can see where I stopped. I didn't put a name there and I stopped. I didn't, I didn't finish anymore. So I got, I bought this last year at 10 spits wide. I had to have it. Um, so I have this idea and I'm keeping it together. Has anybody stitched any of these and how fast did it go? Um, it's the the song lyrics. Sunday stitches. Okay, so I grew up in a, a country church, um, really small church and all my family's there and there's a lot of women in my family. Um, aunts, great aunts, there was Aunt Helen, Aunt OG, Aunt Edie, and my grandma Thelma, and my great grandma El Ellen. So is that five women? So we're all sitting in our little pew, and then their husbands too, so papas and uncles. Uh, so we're all together, and I remember singing like in our little country church. I mean, if you grew up in a country church or even go to one now, you're going to know what I'm talking about. But when we're singing these songs, I just remember being a little kid and um, their country accent singing, and they're just awful. And I just remember being a kid and just, you know, just like slinking down on my chair. Like, I hope nobody can hear them. You know, so that's so childish and immature, isn't it? But I could just remember uh, Grandma say, you know, for example, a mighty fortress is our God. And I just remember just being mortified. I want to start crying. <sighs> Sorry. But you know what? I wouldn't give to sit at church with them one more time. <sighs> so then I thought, okay. They're all dead now. There's not going to be any fighting. <laughs> One of the aunts is going to be strong and beautiful. One of the grandmas is, you know, soft and sweet. Joyful and caring. And so I want to do these for my aunts. I made myself really emotional. Stop it. Mm. And I wanted to stitch these and just make a sweet little wall of the that memory because you know when you're a kid it's embarrassing but when you're an adult god heard their voices and it was beautiful a beautiful noise to him anyway i'm just proud that i've grown up 
a little. I got a long ways to go, but I just, I miss them. So here's some more stash that I, I've had this kitted up for a while. I want to get these done. This, I want to get that done. I bet I don't start this this year because I really want to get this. Like the older it is, the more motivated I am to get it done. Now, oh, I started this last year. Well, where is it? And it did not make me as happy as I thought it would. <laughs> I'm stitching on brown. Um, it looks like weeks. But yeah, I was not having fun with that rabbit. I don't, you know, I should just get over it, pull it back out, put some stitches in it. Okay, but I do, I do want to start this. I almost started it the other day, but, you know. And what I have for it, too, is um, 36 count, and I don't know where I got this. I think it must have been D-Stash, but it's Havisham. Have 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 Picture this plus, it's 36. Oh, it is coming out good on the camera. So it's kind of like a, a soft lemon yellow. Not, you can barely see that it's yellow. With a soft kind of lavender. It's, I think it's pretty for spring. Okay. Um, I want it, I do want to get that. That's another plan that I have. But you know, like we have all these great plans and then we get distracted with, oh, a squirrel. <laughs> I gotta have that. I'm not buying anything else, but I've got to have that. And then that's it. I'm not, I'm not buying anything else. That's it. And then something else will happen the next week. I'm not buying anything else. Oh, they just came out with a new chart. I've got to have it. Yeah, no, we're going to stop that. Um, and this, I pulled this out over the week because you know what I've had this is another thing where I've had kitted up for years and what is this probably $25 $30 worth of floss that I probably rebought 10 different times anyway let's let's do this and there's more pansies has any I see that people this gets stitched a lot I, I really would like to stitch that too okay so that's some spring that I'm I'm thinking about but and um oh I I might start this I didn't was it Helen that was talking about starting what we bought last for last year's market that we haven't started yet I loved this from from Becca um Sambri stitches and I, I never, I've been sitting on it all week, or month, year. And overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. Well, I got a piece of old stationery, seraphim. And it just so happened to be laying next to each other. I mean, I didn't plan it. But I was like, oh my gosh, that's it. Old stationery, that's it. That's what we're doing. So I'm going to old stationery with um becca's um uh, margarita old stationery is beautiful if you don't have a piece of it and you find some get it i oh it's really nice it's kind of i don't i'm not very good at describing fabric it's kind of foggy gray i maybe green but maybe not it's almost like a, a blue but it's not blue it's not a a cool blue it's a warm blue on that kind of a aqua-ish okay so I, I at least want to get that started put some stitches in it you know out of respect and honor for my friend Becca um I just love her and I want to support her I want to support I want to support everyone I need another job all right, I'm not going to worry about that. Do you guys? Yeah, we don't need to see that. But let me just show it. Let me wrap it up to where. That's overkill. But I want to support um, 
what was it, Stitchy Witch 42 and her bat project. Oh my gosh. I thought when I first heard it, I thought, oh, that's cute. I'll do it. Sure, why not? Well, then I got obsessed with finding bat charts. And um, I'm like, I'm doing this. And so I've started now. And also, too, I don't, she, I think her goal is to do 20, finish 24. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. But you know what? I'm going to try. And then if I don't finish, I'll at least have it kitted. No, I, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll have it started. So I've never stitched this. It's got bats. Um, I've never stitched this. I'm going to do that. All right, these bigger ones, I'm going to start them. I, my, I, th I really do want to finish the smalls. Okay, so I just got this at um, D Stash last weekend at the, you know, it's not, it's not fancy, but I've already got it kitted up with a piece of scrap, and it's got a bat on it. It's uh, Redbird Designs. I got that. I've never done this. This um, Blackberry Lane. Wow. I wish I could see. Uh, I've never done this. So I kitted this up last week. I'm going to start that. I think that would be pretty on him. What does she use? Mirage. Mirage. I don't know if I have any of that. But anyway. I love that. Okay, I'm going to start that. And there was two here with bats. Might start those. I don't know how fast those will go. Um, I did find a lot of, Lucy Beam had a lot of cute bats. Um, do you guys have a lot of homespun elegance? Man, I... I don't like partying with them. They have their stuff is really classic. It doesn't date itself. Like this is probably I don't know how old it is. Anyway. Look at that. It's oh, bats right there. But that is so cute. A little parade. Um this I got last weekend at the D stash. I, I don't know. Um somebody at stitching it was uh, getting rid of a lot of stash so I just kind of gathered I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna stitch them or not but you know what I've got a bat stash now uh so when my moody self wants to start something or fin you know I can go but that was cool I've never seen that before haunted pumpkins tree oh just an in it's cute um a bunch of little ones I th I think um stitch which done this what's her name is it audrey i don't know i've been watching people for a long time and i'm not very sociable sometimes you know and i don't get to know people and then i want to shout them out and i'm like i don't even know your name she's retiring soon like 60 days anyway go follow her uh she's finished this one that one's cute this one's cute it's got bats I don't think that I've ever I ever had ever seen this one. That one's cute. Lucy Bama has a bunch of cute stuff with bats. Look at that. I've never seen that either. Let me see. Ghosts and pumpkins drum roll. Blood's house. Um, witchy me, that's super cute. Um, this one looks cute. I love trilogies too. I, they're always good to have a nice trilogy stash. There was one, I hadn't bought it yet. I have it in a, my card. It's that Liz Matthews the owls and the pumpkins and the bats. I want to at least start that this year. 
Um, this one is cute with the bats. And I thought this was cute and primitive, the bat. But yeah, 24 bats in the year 2024. I've even got some fabric pulled. But I'm ready to go. I, I think I'll keep, I don't know. I, I, oh, I, I, my eyes are bigger than my stomach and I start big. And I'm bad about that. I want to start all the big things. But I really, like I said, I want to work on getting more smalls done. And I've got, I've got a bunch of magazines. I have three different magazines pulled with, with them marked. I don't need to really need to see all these, do we? Like this one, for example. I'll show you. Like that. I mean, that wouldn't take any time at all. You can get that done quickly. But yeah, I'm, I went through the magazine and I marked them. I'm like, okay, that's quick. Oh, you can see I, I did that one. Oh, my glasses are giving me a headache. I'm going to have to stop. I've been here. I've talked long enough anyway. Like that. Yeah, I really like this magazine. It had a lot of bats. If you want to do um, do the project with her, um, I like this magazine, 2023. Lots of bats in there. I guess that's it. I need to stop. I'm getting my, my bifocals are, I'm exhausted. My eyes um, are tired. But I feel like, I guess I'm going to stop. And I just want to... Wish you peace and blessings. Be blessed and be a blessing to others. Um, happy stitching. Follow me on Instagram, Sweet Woodruff. And you can follow me here. Um, how I really would love to just be a twice a month or every two weeks person, but I had trouble with my camera. And then I, something was going on with work, or then I'm sick then I need to watch the kids that weekend or you know it's just life gets lifey so I I would like to tell you I'm going to be back in two months and we are two weeks and I just 40 and slipped myself we all know the truth it'll be two months um anyway just peace and blessings and um take care happy stitching and stay in touch drop me a note if you have any questions just ask I'll try to answer all right bye-bye